Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. Well, joining us now to give us the latest updates, predictions, and more on the 92nd Academy Awards in Los Angeles are Arise News correspondents Deborah Hartfield, Inkechi Nana, and Kachi Afia. Hello, ladies. Hello. Wow. Hey. Well, Hi, ladies. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Happy Good morning. Oscars Day. That's what we'll say. They are looking so <laughs> You guys Hollywood. are looking stunning. Happy Ooh. Oscars Day, right? Happy Oscars <laughs> Day. That's so yeah, exciting yeah. that we're Correct. here in Los Angeles for the Oscars. Right. No, we are really excited. Today is the DJ. I mean, we're about to like, it's about to go down. Let, let's start. <laughs> What's the mood like right now in Los Angeles? Okay, guys, so let's talk about the mood in Los Angeles right now. Um, I think for me, just like I've said earlier, it's mixed, it's mixed emotions. You know, there's excitement because people are looking forward to seeing what our favorite stars are going to wear. We want to know who's going to win because, I mean, oh my goodness, the best picture. We're just hoping it doesn't go to 1970. But then it might. So there's a lot of excitement and tension. There aren't that many black nominees. People wondering, is Cynthia Reaver going to get that ego? Is it going to go to somebody else? You know who? So we're really... Really, really just mixed emotions all over the place. But I think we kind of know how it's going to go down. Yeah, exactly. I think it's, like you just said, mixed emotions. I think mostly excitement as well. People always get excited about the Oscars. Like we spoke to people on the street and mm -hmm. we thought it would be like, oh, we're not really that excited because, you know, LA right now, everyone, the mood is a bit sober. You know, Kobe Bryant just yeah, passed right. away. The veteran actor, Kirk Douglas, just passed away. Yeah. So the mood is a bit down, but people are still excited and they, they're really excited expecting a lot yeah. today. I think there's something about when Oscar Day arrives, you know, that golden statue, you know, the red carpet that we've been on, um, which we've been very privileged to get near. It's like a sort of stairway of dreams, you know, yes, the people walking up, they don't know what's going to happen. It could change their life, it, it literally. Changed. And then, of course, the ceremony itself, when those envelopes are opened, either it's a dream come true <laughs> or... You've got the best game face in the world. <laughs> yes. And it's a dream like that's crashed. Absolutely. <laughs> but for me, the exciting thing is, even though we'll talk about what the favourites are, there's always a chance that something exciting, something unexpected could happen. You know, we've talked a lot about Parasite and the parallels between Slumdog Millionaire. I was in the auditorium when it won and everybody was thrilled mm -hmm. because suddenly the Academy was doing something different. So... I agree with you. The, it's a bit of a mixed mood this yes, year because is. of Kobe's death and yes. other things. But I'm still hoping that when the day, you know, when they all when it comes, kicks it'll off, be great. it's going to be, it gives you jingles. It really and, you know, that's the one thing the Oscars are good for, surprises. Back to you, OG. Yes, and talking about uh, surprises, tell us about some of the secrets that we keep hearing about. And uh, what are the rehearsals like? Are you hearing anything about rehearsals going on? Because we hear that uh, many of the... Uh, you know, some of the performers have to do that. Okay, so basically, you know, it's it's a really interesting one. There's a lot. There's been a lot of surprises, right? Surprise snobs, surprise performances, <laughs> surprise presenters as well. So I think I'm going to begin with uh, the surprise snobs because I think that's the one that everyone's talking about. The fact that first thing first, Jenny from the block was absolutely blocked. You know, <laughs> that snob for hustlers, really heartbreaking. She was going to represent Latino, but I think they made up for it at the Super Bowl, to be very honest. Beyonce did not get nominated for Best Song, Spirit. I have to be honest, I was looking forward to her singing. Definitely. Singing Spirit at the Oscars, you know, because uh, for the performance this year, by the way, all the nominees for Best Song are going to be singing. All of them. So we're going to have Elton John. We're going to have Cynthia Erivo. We're going to have Edina Menzel and Aurora. We're going to have a lot of nominees. That's for best songs, singing their songs. And then there's also Billie Eilish. And then there is Janelle, Janelle Monáe. And you know she was in Harriet as well. So she, we are not sure if she's going to perform. And have you with heard Cynthia. the rumors? Yeah, Billie, we're not sure yet. Billie Eilish may, may. This is a big sort of maybe. She might actually debut the Bond theme which is, of course, Bond's coming out in April. That's yes, what is. people are hoping. Yes, it is. So, so it that will be amazing. amazing as well. So obviously we're not allowed. I mean, we, we, we would have loved to sneak in and just catch a sneak peek of what the performance would be, but we didn't see that. But rehearsals are fast underway. There's going to be a lot of performances with Bielish in Kitchen. You think, I mean, she is millennial and this is usually not the Oscar style. You know, the Oscars are very, very conservative and they want to just have their very grand performance. But Billie Eilish is very rocket. She likes her green hair. So 
I'm looking I, forward to seeing what she wears for the performance. Definitely. And I think, you know, we've been talking a lot about how the Oscars doesn't really play to, like, what the public wants. Yeah. So maybe this is one of their way to play, because really, um, like you said, she's a millennial. She's not really the usual type of person they would put to perform at the Oscars. So this might be playing to, like, the kind of demographic that they'll want to be watching the, to watch the Oscars today. Mm -hmm. And also, I'd like to disagree with you on Jennifer Lopez. Really? I actually don't oh. think that's a snob. You don't think that was a snob? No, definitely not. No. Wait, tell us no, about I that. Think, I really um, like I, Jennifer in her slow. I thought really, she was amazing. I don't think no, no, no. told the story well. I don't okay, know let's... about the acting. I you don't mean think the it was a story. Exactly, and I don't think it was good enough to make the Oscars really. Right? Yeah, right. exactly. So uh, I, see, don't now, think I that like was that you said that because, you know, that's been the debate quality over exactly. emotions. And I think I'm really emotional about this, quite honestly. <laughs> so I think I, I get where you're coming yeah. from as well. Amazing. But you know, another great thing that's going to happen, right? At the end of the day, all of these people, Elton John is the one that everyone's looking out for. Definitely. We know that his film Rocket Man failed to skyrocket at the awards <laughs> season. It really, it really didn't do so much rocketing. So Elton John's performance is going to be really really amazing Taron Egerton however would he be performing with Elton John apparently he was reached out to to do that and he turned it down but then again oh, wow. the Oscars are all about surprises he might just decide you know what I'm going to climb the stage with Elton John but regardless it's Elton amazing. John we're going to be loving it regardless it's and, I, be and I think not only is it going to be an incredible performance because Elton always delivers but I also think he is the favorite to win I, I think he will... Yeah. That is the Oscar he will get. It's been 20 years since Lion King. But then you see, the problem is, is it about how long it's been or because he's a veteran? Because or who a lot, deserves or it. Or who deserves yeah. it. Because but you know, Cynthia Erivo is another nominee that people yeah. believe should be considered for that award. But I don't, think, I don't think she should be considered for the award just because she's, oh, she's a person of no, colour. No, no, she has no. to be considered because she deserves it, because she did an amazing job. Yes, Not just it. because she's but a person that's valid. of colour. I think sometimes what happens with the Oscar, it is not always the best person of that year. Of sometimes course, there's of an course. element of, it's your turn, like we've discussed Brad Pitt for Best Supporting Actor. You know, he's been up for, he's been up for Oscars before for acting, hasn't got one, 30 years in the industry, and they're saying this is his year to get an Oscar for but acting. You know, when they do that, the people they pay you with in terms of um, competitors, you know, nominees, they're usually not as strong. So it's like they make up for the fact that, okay, it's your year, but because it's your year, we're going to pay you up with people that you're actually better than. So then it's not so, for example, like there's... Brad Pitt's category, you know, is in a category where we have Al Pacino, we have Joe Pesci as well, and we know that Netflix has been completely snubbed, you know, through the award season. So it's unlikely that they're going to be winning this award. Are the we, recognition is great, but it's unlikely that they'll be winning. We have talked a lot this year about the Netflix effect, which is 24 nominations, yeah, but they're not expected yeah. to pick up that many. I think Laura Dern, for Best Supporting Actress, might be the only one we'd actually bet on, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah um, back to you guys. Let's get your thoughts on that. <laughs> Absolutely right, yeah. Hachi. Well, you know, you picked on something that, you know, the Oscars is filled with surprises and you know I know that the rehearsals are going on mm. as well as you know you know they have practiced their last minute jokes and yeah. all of that. Do you guys know of any last minute changes that we might be um, looking forward to? Well, last minute changes, nothing really to be very honest at this point in time. I mean, it's it's it, there hasn't been anything out of the old, out of the blue that's just you know sprung up on us. I mean, and, and no last minute performances, nothing like that. We pretty much know it's going to go the same way. There's going to be the in memoriam where we have people that have passed away from you know the past year. They're gonna we're gonna have Kobe Bryant as well in that. However, people are now starting to talk about how this is even because. Ever since that came out, you know, with um, the WNBA star Lisa Leslie, a lot of people have been saying, why would she say that? Why would you ask that? It happened all the way back in 2003. Kobe Bryant is yeah. dead. He cannot defend himself anymore. But why did it's... you wait that long to actually bring it up? So people are... Th there's been an outpour of emotion and anger and sadness. Snoop Dogg came out to do a video. A couple of people have spoken about it as well. So people are saying... Okay, so he's supposed to be giving, he's supposed to have a tribute for, you know, in the in memoriam section at the Oscars. So yeah, and you're this... slamming him right now. Exactly. People just feel like it's not really, uh, I feel like at this point, the media just has to be respectful. Yeah, and also, I don't think it's a valid point to say that they can't speak about um, the sexual assault issues because it's been an, a long time ago. Maybe even because they've he went on trial and he was dismissed, Missed. then you can say that, okay, yeah, we don't have to speak about this anymore. And to be 
And to be honest, I don't think that makes his legacy complicated, no, like she was not. trying and to I, imply. I think, it doesn't. I think the Oscars have handled it absolutely perfectly well. They, they came out and they said, he's one of our own. He yeah. won an Oscar in 2018, yes, he did, dear which isn't very long ago. And they feel they must honour him. Absolutely. You know, And I think they've separated the controversy with the fact that here is a man who is admired for many of the things he did, including the Oscar. It was an incredible dream for him to achieve that, and they want to respect that. We love it. Exactly. He's very, very dignified. We of love them. it, and we also know Kirk Douglas as well will be honoured. <laughs> uh, you know, at this year's, I think that's uh, that's the that's, only last, that's the only last minute edition yeah. that we're looking forward to. Jamie Lee Curtis came out to talk about how he actually saved her life when she was a child, and you know the tributes have been coming in. A lot of people saying great things. So it's, I think, it's poised to be a very Interesting show. No house as well. Guys. But uh, I think the thing we will be looking out for is Joaquin Phoenix's speech. Because exactly, he's used yeah. the Oscars, yes. road to the Oscars, yes. to champion the climate change. And I think when he gets onto that stage and he gives his expectant speech, which we're all expecting, we're all, mm -hmm. you know, we're rooting for Joker and him to get best actor, that I think is when he'll take the spotlight and he'll he'll do what he did at the BAFTAs. Absolutely. He'll move and us. And it's more. interesting. I feel, I feel like climate change is going to be a major conversation this year as well because we also have Jane Fonda yes. as one of the presenters. And we know she exactly. just had the Fire Drill Friday, the first of its kind here yeah. in L.A. And it was such a beautiful experience. We were there live. And all three of us were there. Yes, and we, we were. heard Jane Fonda speak. And although Joaquin Phoenix didn't speak, mm -hmm. his presence, his choice to be there, and, of course, his partner was there as well. Yeah. In fact, the whole audience was filled with famous faces. But more than that, it was filled with absolute passion for this yes, incredible cause was. and I think we're going to see something of that from Jane Fonda on stage Definitely. too. When she's presenting it she might wear yeah. red as well because that's the colour oh, that to represent interesting. the primary well, you know, they were um, The Fire Draw Friday, everybody's invited to um, wear red. Yeah. Of course you know, yes, we like to support these causes here on Arise. <laughs> yeah, back to you guys. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, Deborah actually mentioned that, you know, you're rooting for uh, Joker. But remember last year, everyone was actually rooting for Roma to get the top prize, but uh, Green Book got it. What film do you think is going to be beaten well? I mean, that's an obvious... Well, <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of, like, what we're rooting for now, you know... I agree with you. A lot of people talking about how, oh, hey, we're rooting for Joaquin Phoenix to go home with Best Actor. Last year, everybody was rooting for Roma to win Best Picture as well, but it went over to Greenberg. Now, I have to be honest to say, I knew that was going to happen because at the end of the day, Roma just got international feature. Come on, Alpha was a horror and got Best Director. And it really was another it was Netflix. On, exactly. Another it was, Netflix. It was... It was, it was it, it, it would not have added up for it to win Best Picture. Green Book was a phenomenal, fantastic film. Mahashala Ali did a great job. So this year, we're looking at the fact that award season in general, Joaquin Phoenix has been a favorite, quite honestly, for the Best Actor position. And it's highly not you know, possible that Joker would get Best Picture, you know, if we're no, being honest. So, no. And we also know that Todd Phillips might not get Best Director, but Joker's a phenomenal film, so he has to get something. What else? Best direct, best Actor? T best Joaquin Actor, Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. Definitely Best Actress, Renee Zellweger. Absolutely. Definitely. But I think um, Scarlett Johansson needs a mention, really, in that yeah. category. Yeah. She did a really yeah. good job for, Mar for Marriage to Rent, she even did. in Jojo Rabbit, which did. is not in the category. I mm -hmm. think 2019 was a really good year. For Scarlett Johansson, exactly. it was. It was, this very, is her... really was. But Renee is definitely going to take it. That role but for Scarlett, has been this given is actually to her. her first ever nomination, and she's joined a very elite club. Only 12 people have had two acting nominations in the same year because the rules prevent you having two nominations in the same category. Yeah. So it's an incredible achievement, and I agree with you. I don't think she's going to get it, unfortunately. No, she but then so I, I really think that Judy... Um, the film Renee Judy was stunning yes. and that Renée Zellweger, she just picked up the Spirit Award a few hours she ago did. and she picked up every major award. But the beautiful thing is she's already said this won't do Hollywood's tribute to Judy Garland, who never, who got, never an Oscar. got an Oscar. Yeah. She was supposed Amazing. to win for A Star Is Born. She'd just given birth. They sent a camera. They were expecting to say, you know, you've won. And then Grace Kelly stole it from her and the camera was sent away and she never got one. Well, I, I, I'm also looking um, looking forward to the Best Supporting Actress, Laura Dunn. I yeah. think that is the one place, marriage story as well, that yeah. you know, a lot of people are excited. Look, I believe that no matter how much we try to shut out Netflix, 
it's just completely impossible to completely shut them out. I think they're going to clench that, that yeah, award. Yeah, they will. Definitely. I they think will. they're going to clench that award. Another person that we should really be careful about is Bong Joon-ho's Parasite. Oh, yeah. That is a phenomenal film. Yeah. I was While we were interviewing people in the streets, you know, today at the Hollywood Boulevard, we asked a lot of people, have you seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? No. Have you seen 1917? Nah. No. Have you seen Joker? Yes. <laughs> have you seen Parasite? Yes. Now, let's not forget that this movie has subtitles. It does. So people will watch it through the subtitles. It's that good. So let's not underestimate I Bong think it might Parasite. clinch Best Picture and then nah, that'll be... Oh, no, no. I think, think so. I it's going to get so. Best International Feature. International yeah. Feature. Yeah. That's, 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 best 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 picture. Picture. that's a lot, I think. That's a lot. What about Best Director? I think Oh, you know, I think it's possible. I think it's I think it's possibly Sam Mendes. I really do. If it, I, 20 if, if, years if since American Beauty. Sam Mendes, then I think Best Picture will be Parasite. No. I no, think... No, no. Best International Feature for Parasite. Yes. I think that... Why not? Why not? Why not? Here's the thing, right? I mean, at the end of the day, it's all predictions because based on what we've seen at the Golden Globes, the Screen Actors Guild Awards, the BAFTAs, it's either this, yeah? Best director could go to Sam Mendes Definitely. if we're just going through with everything that's been going on. Or <laughs> yeah. if we're talking about who deserves this, Bong Joon-ho, definitely. Best picture is going to go to 1917, if we're just being honest, or Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, because then again, that movie is pretty much the Academy's, like, this is this is what we are about. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yes. Or Parasite. DiCaprio, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. It's or Parasite. typical Hollywood. You know? Or Parasite, if we're talking about who deserves My... it. Now, international feature... Without a doubt, Parasite no, is going to win. Parasite. But so the, the, the long and short of this is, at the end of the day, Parasite is going to go home with something. But the real 1970 Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, one is going to be left out because, I mean, it's... it's you it's, know what's it's, interesting? It's two. Quentin Tarantino, definitely, I really doubt he's going to get the best director no, he's, award. No, he's not going to get... Yeah. No, I, I think it. Sam Mendes has got a better chance of that. What's interesting about 1917 is it got the Golden Globe and yet... It's not always the Golden Globe winner that gets Best Picture. Yeah. Because sometimes the Academy can duck it. And I agree with you. I think Hollywood loves movies about films. They love yeah. Quentin Tarantino. It's got DiCaprio. He's one yeah. of his favourite actors. Yeah. Although he'll miss out this year because of Joker. But And, of course, it's got Brad Pitt. It's got that golden Hollywood, Hollywood thing that vibe. they love. So I think it's between those two. And yeah. I'm sorry. And <laughs> I, I look, If you want to go storytelling, Parasite's the best film. Parasite is. But 1917, but, let's not... Yeah. I mean, it was that one it's camera shot. Thing. Everyone has been talking about that. And it's I not easy to do. It's been very, very difficult. No doubt. And people are really, really, really proud of how amazing the film is. But then again, but apart from that, where... people still believe that. You know, there are other great movies. But then again, the nomination I, is enough I think in terms of acknowledgement. cinema photography will go to Roger Deakin. Yeah. You know, he just picked up one a couple of years ago for Blade Runner. He will definitely get it for 1917. If he doesn't definitely. win that, then he's been robbed. Because that <laughs> film was stunning. And, we can and it was largely down to him. Uh, well, there's so many things that could happen. And they'll be so many surprises. We but that's the beauty of the Oscars. Yes, you're it's saying. exciting. Ladies, Deborah, Kachi, and Kachi, your excitement is very contagious. We're looking forward uh, to an exciting Oscar award uh, this evening.